What is going on guys, it is DMG here, and today we have a very important video because we have finally gotten these League Upgrade Packs for Team of the Year. So with these upgrades coming along, we're going to talk about which League Upgrades you really want to focus in on, how to best utilize the process of recycling these packs so that way you can get the most players into your club while minimizing the amount of coins you're spending and the amount of players that you are quick selling. So if you go into the SBC section, you will find the league upgrades in the live section, and you're going to see these upgrades for every single league. So obviously you have the Premier League, you have League One, you're going to have some of like the Bundesliga, Serie A, La Liga, and you know, some of these are going to be kind of useless. At the moment, there is no team of the year in La Liga unless Benzema happens to get his 12th man vote for team of the year. There's obviously none in the Serie A either. So these two leagues, at least at the moment, you can essentially just discard and not even think about. Along with that, there is only one team of the year, which is Lewa in the Bundesliga upgrades. So, you know, if you want to go about that, you can, but the best leagues that you really want to focus in on are going to be the League One and the Premier League upgrades. So if you're new, there are going to be two types of upgrades. You have the regular upgrade, and then you have the premium upgrade. The regular upgrade here is essentially a premium gold pack, except without all that filler stuff with the contracts, the kits, and anything like like that, where you are going to get three players from that specific league, one of which is going to be rare. Meanwhile, the premium upgrade is essentially a premium gold players pack, but you get 12 players from that specific league, and three of them are going to be rare. Now, obviously, the premium upgrade is going to give you a better chance because you get more players, you get more rares, but that also means it is going to be a little bit more expensive. So, if you take a look at the premium upgrade, the one where you get 12 players, three of which are going to be rare, you have to put in 11 rare players and you have to get 45 chem. Now the 45 chem is not that bad whatsoever, however you do have to get some chemistry on a few players in order to get to that 45 chem. Meanwhile the regular upgrade, which is going to give you three players, one of which is rare, is going to require just 11 non-rare golds and is only going to be 30 chemistry. Now the price for the non-rare golds at the moment are going to be, I believe, 350 coins, which is what I saw. So if you buy all of them for 350 coins, and if you're quick with it, that means that you are going to be spending a little under 4,000 coins. Meanwhile, the rare golds are going to be at around 700 coins each, which means that if you get all of them at 700 coins, you are going to be spending a little under 8K. Now to best utilize the recycling process, you do have to use both of these types of upgrades. You don't want to focus just on one or the other. If you use both, then that's going to give you your best chance at getting a team of the year or just getting some high rated fodder for some SBCs. And it is going to be best utilizing your coins and the players that you get as well. Now, before we start the actual recycling process itself, let's discuss the differences between choosing between the Premier League and League One, because it's not as simple as, oh, I want a Premier League team of the year. I'm going to choose that. There is a little bit of nuance in it. So this little graphic from FootWiz shows that you are going to be more likely to pack a team of the year from the French League compared to the Premier League, just because of the amount of rares that you have in League One compared to the Premier League. That being said, if you do want to go after the Premier League team of the years, you absolutely can by all means. You can do whatever the heck you want to do. You can go after team of the year Lewa for all I care, all right? It's your decision. But that graphic may or may not influence what you actually want to do. So I just thought I would show it. So now let's talk about the actual recycling process. I have made this nice little graphic here, which took me 17 hours to make. As you can see, it is very just very well written and, and well made, obviously. But doing this process right here is essentially going to make you get a premium upgrade and a regular upgrade for less than half the price that it originally would if you do it from scratch. First things first, you want to start out with a premium upgrade, the one that gives you 12 players. Again, you can choose whatever the one you want to do at the moment. It is just midfielders that are out. So obviously the Premier League is going to be the one to do because all of the team of the year midfielders are from the Premier League. So this first team that you put in is kind of an investment. You're not going to have to buy the whole team of rare golds every single time. So again, it is just kind of an investment that you have to do initially. So you put in all of your rare golds into whatever upgrade you want to do. So again, in this case, a Premier League premium 
upgrade. Make sure, again, it's the premium upgrade. Now, because I have so many packs, I do have to open it on the web app. But again, the process is still the same as if you didn't have any packs to open. So again, you do your premium upgrade for whatever you want to do, and you open it immediately. You don't stock up a couple, you just open it right away. Now, obviously, the chance that you do get a team of the year are still very low. I'm not saying it's going to work every single time. But in this case, what happens is you get, again, three rare golds, and then you get nine non-rare golds. You're going to go ahead store all of them in your club and any untradeables you're going to try to replace if you can in this case thankfully i can which is great so now you have three rare golds and nine non-rare golds what you're going to do next is go and do just the regular upgrade not the premium one just the regular one again this one is going to be only 30 chemistry but keep in mind even getting that chemistry is going to be extremely easy to do because we just got nine non-rare golds from one single league so again the chemistry is not going to be an issue so here are the nine non-rare goals that we got from that pack now for this specific part you are going to have to go out and spend 700 coins to get you those two non-rare goals now in the future you don't have to do that because of some of the process in general you're not going to have to buy more players you're already going to have 11 non-rare goals in this section but similar to investing in the premium upgrade initially you're going to have to invest in just two non-rare goals golds here but again in the future you are not going to have to do that so let's say i already had those players this little section right here is already going to be free so we exchange these players and then from it we get three premier league players one of which is going to be rare so again from this you get three players one of which is rare two are non-rare again you're going to go ahead and store them in your club simple as that you're going to go ahead and go back into this sbc section and you're going to go ahead and do now the premium upgrade once again now remember we got three rare golds from the premium upgrade that we first invested in so now we have four rare golds that we do not have to spend coins on. Simple enough, right? Along with that, they're all from the same league as well. So getting the chemistry is going to be a little bit easier to do this time around and for the foreseeable future. So from here, this is where you actually have to spend coins. Again, 700 coins per rare gold player is not too bad. Now you have to spend it on seven players. So seven players for 700 coins is going to be 4,900 coins. And that is the total price of doing this entire process because again once you buy those seven rares which again is going to be around 4,900 coins you're just going to restart this whole process that's where you get those 12 players three of which are rare nine of which are non-rare and again remember that little upgrade that we did before this we already have two non-rare players so the nine non-rares that you get in this little uh premium upgrade you can use then the two non-rares that you get in the regular upgrade and right there you have a regular upgrade that you can do just like that so this whole process is going to be around 5,000 coins which again even though you are spending coins it is going to be less than half of the price that you would if you were to spend the coins from scratch for a regular upgrade and a premium upgrade to me that sounds like a very very good deal to do because again not only could you have the chance of packing a team of the year but you could also get some very good high rated fodder that you can use for SBCs that are certain to come out in this team of the year promo so that is going to do it for this video if you do have any questions over it please let me know and i'll try to help you guys out but like i said that is going to be it thank you guys so much for watching this has been dmg peace